Baywatch is about um, a young lifeguard recruit who joins the team and has a bit of friction with Mitch, who's the, the head uh, lifeguard, and sort of his story of coming around and becoming a part of the family and opening himself up to what Baywatch is. It's such an honor to be a part of a a project that has such a great following and fan base and that everyone has memories attached to. I think, you know, ask everyone what they remember about Baywatch and they're going to tell like the story of when they were like 10, like sneaking it while their parents were out. You know, everybody has something. So it's really fun to be a part of that conversation and um, also changing it is is really fun too because to do the same is sort of redundant and, and you know, I think what's so great about what we have created here is that we're changing the tone but keeping the concept. I play CJ Parker and she is the happy-go-lucky light-hearted lifeguard. She's very uh, friendly and goofy and her romantic interest is Ronnie, played by John Bass, and they, the, the two of them are sort of the, the goofs, class clowns of the crew. And uh, CJ is a really good lifeguard, though. She's um, an excellent swimmer and is sort of always the first in the water. And I think you'll notice in the movie she does most of the um, the hardcore saving. Sort of, she's Mitch's like go-to girl for getting in there and rescuing someone. Brody is played by Zac Efron, and he is the young recruit who has uh, a bit of a troubled past and is slightly arrogant <laughs> and uh, he sort of comes into Baywatch and is a, is a little bit of uh, acts as a little bit of turbulence for the team because we're all so used to being a family and trusting one another and playing by the rules and he does not so CJ's relationship to Brody is CJ's not a girl who's who's gonna get you know in someone's face or be angry but just sort of from afar will be like, you know, I'm not, I'm not really into that. I don't really like that. And I think she gives that vibe to Brody. She's, she doesn't um, welcome in, him to the family very quickly because he doesn't play by the rules. And as opposed to uh, Stephanie's character is, is on Brody right away. Um, that's not really CJ's role in the family. She's a middle child, very passive. <laughs> Ronnie is played by John Bass, and Ronnie is CJ's love interest in the movie. And the two are sort of an unlikely pair, but they just have really great chemistry and they really like each other. And John and I actually have that in real life. Like, we really get along and are from day one, we're friends and we're able to just like tit for tat joke with one another. So it, the whole on screen chemistry has come really easy to us. And we sort of just liked the idea of, of, a relationship not being complicated two people who just like get along really well and it's just that simple and um, you know a lot of the other relationships in the movie there's a lot of like tension and like push and pull and can't we can we can't we will we you know it's and theirs is just not complicated which is kind of ironic because they're the most unlikely to end up together she's like a more senior lifeguard he's a young recruit he's like more nervous she's not you know but they just get along and it's kind of awesome Dwayne's amazing. Dwayne is such a leader. It, he, the, you know, he's cast perfectly as Mitch because he's this presence and you know is a guy that everyone trusts and is so easy to work with that you you want to do your best work for him, kind of. And you, you know, he sort of sets the precedent on set of of we are a family. You know, he treats us like that. He checks in with us, you know, all the time, and you know, is just. We're all make sure we're all on the same page. Like he's definitely the leader of the set, which is um, really awesome because he's he's a he's an amazing leader.